Let me show you what I do on the main cap. See how this aftermarket bearing fits well, right? Well, that's because I pre pre clearanced right there. I made that hole angled over. Okay, I'm gonna do mains. Starting with the rear. It's still right where it was. Thirty two. Standard size uh, king bearings, 25, 25, 25 out. This is 0 0.0025, 25 and 32. The, the machine shop that did the main caps did a perfect job. They use a CNC milling machine. Um, they did with ARP Ultra Lube, 80 foot pounds on the mains all of the bolts, even these outer ones, and they have the oil pump, a mock oil pump at um, bolted at 55 foot pounds. So I put the actual oil pump on 55 foot pounds and the bearing clearances came out nice. I didn't have to change any bearings. Everything was very consistent, very, very consistent. Five.
Don't need this to be real tight either. Just temporary. I didn't, I didn't put the plugs in either. So remember, this is all temporary. Hey, you guys. Uh, a 400, uh, you know, a, a big stroke crankshaft, like, say, a 4-inch, or even a 3.875, you know, for a 395 cubic inch small block Chevy or LT1 happens i mean how easy is clearance all right this is the typical clearancing amount here you see that's the typical amount but if you're doing a big stroke there is a couple of things that'll that'll help all right if you can get a crankshaft with a two inch rod journal because then the rods will be you know, normally it's a 2.100. This is 2.00. If you can, get a good connecting rod that are compact at the big end, and that's a Callie's. Callie's will be like that. Check these out. You know, the bolt doesn't stick way out. So, th And that should help. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm not going to file the rings because I'm going to put all these in install them make sure everything clearances and i always make sure i have the camshaft in there she is down there and set up with a timing set so that i know that the like a cam lobe won't hit the shoulder of a rod always do that when you're doing your mock-up um so if they all clear good i'll take them all out and then i'll file the rings but the reason I'm not going to file the rings ahead of time is because if they don't clear, I'm going to have to take it all apart and do some more clearance and, and some cleaning. And so, last thing will be the ring filing. So, check it out. temporary. Let me roll this around. So you can see, look at piston at the, the counterweight. Uh, touches. Bottom of the piston touches the counterweight. Because that now we know. And it clears the bottom of the cylinder, but it doesn't clear the oil rail. So oil rail will get marked. I'm sure they're all gonna need it. Every oil rail there is going to need it. Why didn't I think of doing that? Oh well. So it clears really well here, but then oil rail. The bottom of the piston hits the counterweight, comes down so far that it hits right there. Now, the deck is at 9.016, so this piston is 
16 thou in the hole. So we have that much to work with on a, on a compression height. You know what I think I'm going to pursue actually is to send the crankshaft to Callie's, talk to my account guy, uh, Justin Whitman, and ask him if the counterweights can be cut down at Callie's for six inch, I mean for 5.8 five rod combo and that they could balance it then for this current combo and then ship it back and pop her in.